Okay, guys. So here we are approaching another WWE pay-per-view. This is a SmackDown branded one. There will be a Raw one coming up in a few weeks called Roadblock. Today we are going to focus only on tables, ladders, and chairs. Now, the date for this event, Sunday, December 4th at the American Airlines Arena in Dallas, Texas. There's going to be six matches on the quad. Four of them will be championship matches. Two of them... Mm, I don't really want to predict, but I have to. Because I do watch SmackDown and I'm into it. So, first up, I'm going to get the two non-important matches out of the way. First not important match is a women's division match. We have Nikki Bella taking on Carmella in a no disqualification match. My main concern for Nikki is, of course, her health heading into the match. We saw what happened at Survivor Series with the women's Survivor Series match. Team Raw taking on Team SmackDown, even though Team Raw did win the match. So, I am worried about Nikki's health. She's the underdog in this match. Do I think she'll stay in it? Likely. But in the end, I think Carmella wins. Next up, we have Baron Corbin taking on Kalisto in a chairs match. I don't really like the idea of this match, but for the, for the heck of it, I'm just going to say Baron Corbin wins. All right. Now that we got that part out of the way, we have the four championship matches that I am going to predict. So, I'm going to get the easy one out of the way first in the women's division. I think Becky Lynch will defend her title against Alexa Bliss. Now, keep in mind here, this match will be a tables match. So, do I like the idea of this match for a women's division? Yes. But, remember, Becky's on top of her game right now. So, I got to give this one to Becky. Next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship Ladder Match. The Miz has granted Dolph Ziggler a rematch. So, what do I want to see out of this one? Dolph Ziggler winning, obviously. Because, let's be honest. Dolph really proves why he's more worthy to be champion than The Miz. The Miz is such a coward. What makes him worthy to be Intercontinental Champion? I think if Dolph wins the title on Sunday, you are going to see more guts than ever before. And who knows? Maybe in the future, this will lead up to a Sami Zayn move to SmackDown, which I hope it happens, but we shall see. The next match will be the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Heath Slater and Rhino will be taking on Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, but here's the catch. There are no stipulations! <laughs> This isn't a TLC match. This isn't a ladders, chairs, or tables match. So, uh, what's the point of naming a TLC if there are no weapons being used or no stipulations? Look, I think after Randy joined the Wyatts, I think it revived his career. And I've always saw Bray winning some sort of championship in the future. I think the Wyatts are too dangerous right now. They're unstoppable. So, we're going to have new SmackDown Tag Team Champions at the end of the night. I feel that it's going to happen. Orton and Wyatt will be your new Tag Team Champions. And finally, the main event of the night for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and this is a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Dean Ambrose will be taking on the current champion, AJ Styles, again. 
How many times have we seen these two battle it out, all because of the James Ellsworth story? Now, as far as Ellsworth is concerned, if you didn't see SmackDown on Tuesday, let's just say AJ gave him a pummeling right during the Ambrose Asylum show. So, hmm... Look, I know how WWE works, and at the end of the day, they want their product, and they want what's best for business. I'm going to have to say it, but AJ's going to defend the title. It just doesn't make any sense right now for Ambrose to even be champion. I think he's going to enter the Royal Rumble anyway, but in the end, heading into the Rumble, I just see... Styles winning this match on Sunday and then carrying the belt into the Rumble. So, six minutes, six matches I have predicted through this pay-per-view. I hope you guys enjoyed the video very much because I've had a very, very limited recording schedule again this week. So, if you are seeing the video, it is either Friday or Saturday you are seeing this. Because I don't want this up on the day of the pay-per-view. So, let's hope I'm right in the end. Because I think I will be. Until next time, take care.